New Single Channel Groundwater Detector Tutorial. After powering on the device, the welcome screen displays the device model name. Tap anywhere on the screen to enter the main operation screen. Survey. On the main screen, tap Survey to enter the survey screen for measurement related operations. Set new file, tap Set new file to create a new file. File ID, tap the File ID text box. A numeric keyboard pops up. Enter the new survey line ID, then tap Enter to confirm. Increment, tap the Increment text box. A numeric keyboard pops up. Enter the survey point increment value, then tap Enter to confirm. Select measurement method, choose MEG or ELEC, based on the device connection. After setup, tap OK to enter the measurement operation screen. Up and down, switch to view measurement data at different depths. Delete, tap Delete. The device displays surely delete collected data at this point. Tap Yes to delete, or No to cancel. Survey, tap Survey to start measurement. Repeat until the entire survey line measurement is complete. Add to file, tap Add to file. Tap the survey line ID to enter its measurement screen and continue measuring. View on the main screen, tap View to enter the View screen. View Catalog, tap View Catalog to display all survey line IDs stored in the device. Tap the corresponding survey line ID to enter the view screen. View one file, tap view one file, then tap the file ID text box. A numeric keyboard pops up. Enter the survey line ID, then tap OK to enter the view screen. Delete on the main screen, tap delete to enter the delete screen. View Catalog, tap View Catalog to display all survey line IDs stored in the device. Delete 1, tap Delete 1 to delete a single file. Delete All, tap Delete All. The device displays clear all stored data. Tap OK to confirm deletion. Output on the main screen, tap Output to enter the transfer screen. View Catalog, tap View Catalog to display all survey line IDs stored in the device. By U-Disk to transfer a single file, tap the File ID text box and enter the survey line ID. Tap OK. The device displays detector is OK for outputting. Please insert U-Disk. Insert the U-Disk. The device starts transferring data. To transfer all measurement data, tap OK. The device starts transferring data. By Bluetooth, tap by Bluetooth. The device displays enter the Bluetooth mode. Tap OK. The device displays detector is OK for outputting. Wait for the phone command. On the phone app, select Bluetooth. Tap Search to find the device model, then tap Pair. After Paired is displayed, tap Confirm to return to the app homepage. Tap Files, select the file to export then tap Derivation to complete. Setting on the main screen, tap Setting to enter the Settings screen. Brightness, adjust the screen brightness by moving the slider. Sampling number, tap the Sampling number input box, select the appropriate number, then tap Enter. Date and time, tap the Date and Time input box. Enter the date and time, then tap Enter to confirm. Graph coordinate, change the measurement data display mode. 
Tap the box next to relatively or absolutely to select. Tap setting to confirm parameters. Single channel system electrode connection. Connect the cable to the main unit. Insert M and N measurement electrodes into the ground. Connect the cable to the electrodes. The survey point is the center between the M and N electrodes. Tap survey at this position. Data acquisition completes and the screen displays the points data. Move the M and N electrodes a fixed distance in the same direction to the next survey point. Tap survey again for the second survey point's data acquisition. Repeat until the entire profile measurement is complete. Single channel system sensor connection. Connect the sensor to the device. Place the sensor flat on the ground. Tap Survey to start data acquisition. The survey point is directly beneath the sensor. However, ensure consistent sensor orientation across all points on the survey line. After completing the points measurement, Move the sensor a fixed distance along the survey line to the next survey point. Tap survey again for the second survey point's data acquisition. Repeat until the entire profile measurement is complete. Survey line setup. The survey line direction should be perpendicular to the anomaly strike. Keep the cable as far as possible from high voltage power lines and telephone lines. If unavoidable, align the survey line parallel to them. If the cable is submerged in water, perform a leakage check. Ensure M and N electrodes remain aligned along the same straight line during setup. Precautions Check the device's battery level before work. Turn off the power after use to save battery. Assign a dedicated person to handle the device during transport or use to avoid severe vibration, impact, or water ingress. Clean dust from the device's surface daily and store it in a ventilated, dry place. Clean soil from the measurement electrodes after use. Do not remove the anti-tamper seal on the device's casing, as this voids the warranty. The device uses intelligent frequency selection. For accurate measurements, clear data before the first measurement. If the M, N electrodes or sensor are disconnected, a measurement failure prompt appears. Check the connection. If measurement data at each point is consistently low and similar, the device may be faulty. Contact after sales support.